He said it. Why buy an Aero Bike is my favorite If you don't go fast enough Sorry? to this is gonna get be the worst topic, I think. <laughs> yeah. And Lex cannot produce 40 km Yeah, dude. Might as well just go treadmill. Uh. <laughs> okay, are we all ready? Yeah, the full Musketeers, yeah. Ready, ready, ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you sit a bit back? Because I scared you're not focused because Caleb is focused. Uh, your chair needs to go back a bit. I didn't move the chair though. Okay, we're all focus. Correct. Okay, welcome back to another episode, guys. We are here with our beloved guest, Sean. He was here in the previous episode. Um, so today's topic is about um, aero bikes versus a lightweight, sorry, aero frame versus a lightweight frame, right? That's am, right. I, am I right? Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, we're here with JD, Caleb. So uh, guys, just as a disclaimer, we are here in Singapore. People call this a pancake country. It's all flat. You probably only have one climb, Mount Faber, Sentosa. Even then, it's not very high. Are you guys in favor of an aero bike or a lightweight bike? We will start with, let's give Sean the honors. Okay, I think for me, um, I run an SL7, so it's a bit of both. Yuck. But... <laughs> cut, Sorry. I, let's Sorry. Cut, let's cut I that. just had to say yuck to SL7. <laughs> it's a bit of both, but um, I could see why would someone would want to run a lightweight bike versus and someone wants to run an aero bike. I think for me, I, I tend to lean a little bit towards more the aero bike than the lightweight bike. Is yeah. it the look or the benefit? I think a little bit of everything. I mean, I do I do feel that aero bikes do look a, quite a bit meaner than lightweight bikes, right? Like well, when, when someone rolls up on an aero bike, he looks like he means business. It's heavier. And someone rolls up on a so lightweight what bike. What did it look right? like when I rolled up? Did it look like I was about to do something? Like no, threat? no, no, don't worry. <laughs> Nothing serious. No, no, genuinely you look like a threat. Because you rolled up like all sweaty with, his, with your heavy yeah. ass bike. <laughs> it's a heavy ass bike. Uh, dude, that's irrelevant. Okay, wait, we're all here on aero bikes, are we? Who, I'm aero. Aero? I'm not just aero bikes. Two of you are two not aero bikes. Uh, so yours is like the in between. Uh, uh, One bike to rule them all, dude. Uh, lost identity kind of thing. Okay. So you are uh, running a SL7, right? Yes. Uh, okay. So, so, so it's a hybrid. Right. Hybrid. Hybrid. So aero or lightweight? I'll uh, say aero. <coughs> aero? Yeah. Uh, Caleb? I'm in between. Sorry, can I just go back to him? You say aero because we are in Singapore, right? Yes. Okay. If you're in, if you're, if you like to do a lot, let's say you're not in Singapore, you're in like other countries with a lot of climbs, right? And you like to actually do those climbs. You, you, you should buy a lightweight bike, you should buy a lightweight bike. But it doesn't make sense to buy an aero bike. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to buy an aero bike, yeah. But if you live in a country where it's mostly flats, or you can, you can live in a country with, with a lot of climbs, but you just you just like to go on flats more, or like, you just don't do those climbs, then buy an aero bike. I would say it depends on what kind of rides do you like to go for, and you just buy the bike that suits your riding style the most. Okay. So yeah. in, in, in this context, let's just put it out there that we're in Singapore, okay? It's yes. flat. So mm. the, the, bike, the answers mm. might be biased. Mm. Uh, bro, you right. can go ahead and eat first, man. Sorry, our, our, our dinner just arrived. Yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, sorry, now on to you, Caleb. Uh, for me, because uh, I initially really like to have an aero frame. Uh, as I've said in my interview before, I like the Colnago concept and uh, Madone. So, aero frame because uh, I enjoy going on flats, you know, going fast, be able to maintain high speed. Uh, but when I got my bike, it really, because I'm the type of person who doesn't want to own so much bikes. I, I only want to own one bike. So better to own like, uh, let's say they, they have this a category right now, right? This uh, all-rounder bike, uh, all-rounder frame, like one bike to rule them all, right? <laughs> That's, that's marketing, uh, but uh, <laughs> technically it's a lightweight bike versus an aero yeah. uh, bike. So. I mean, the, the advantage for like aero, let's say, is uh, can, it's aerodynamic. Uh, it's better, easier to maintain high speeds. Uh, I mean, somewhat it's true. Um, lightweight bike, I think it's, the, it's more versatile for me. Uh, it, can, it can help you climb easier. Can still hold up speed, depends on your legs. Again, 90% rider, you remember that. <laughs> if you cannot produce such power to maintain high speed on a lightweight bike then that's your problem not the bike so you're in favor of a lightweight frame yeah it's a uh, more versatile for me oh, you don't even climb bro that's you're like me we all go TNT climb out of bed I, 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 <laughs> I started to climb when more. you're strava everyday tmc rti only what no uh, you see my elevation gain you see a uh, thousand meters <laughs> man up mount everest nearly not out of bed thousand meters every day hey don't <laughs> my condo is very tall okay <laughs> So, so lightweight for you? Yeah, lightweight for me. Uh, what is the, the bike that's lightweight right now in the market besides an Atos? Atos, yeah. 
Okay, so my bike is V3 RS, so it's it's as light as you can get for me. Hmm. That has a they call it semi aero. Some some people will say oh semi aero, not aero. Well, it's semi. What's semi? But for me, like you can you can see the dimensions of the the down tube, the fork. You can see there's an aero like design also. So in a way, it can help uh, like an aero to reduce aero drag everything. But really, it depends on your legs. If your the legs cannot produce a uh, bye bye, yeah. uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. get dropped. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Really, you've been waiting for this. Let's time? be real now. It's not about the legs. Okay. When we're talking about frames, okay. I really think it's about the rider. What kind of position are I, you holding? I because just said it. Please <laughs> calm down. So oh man, we're getting a bit heated here. Yeah, right? I'm just heated here, man. We're getting heated here. <laughs> I'm just saying that if you have an aero frame, aero bike and you're not holding an aero position, then you're negating most of the benefits from an aero frame. So if you're the kind of rider who just rolls around normal position with your chest blowing to the wind, mm. I think lightweight bike is the way to go. Because remember, at the end mm. of the day, 80% of the drag is from your body, 20% yeah. mm. from the bike. So that's my main consensus about this whole thing. Me, as you know, I'm holding a very aggressive horizontal arm position, um, aero position. So of course I have an aero frame. To a to supplement my frame. Because you're only getting about 10 to 20 watts of advantage um, lightweight versus aero. Uh, and th the whole weight thing, come on, don't bring up that. Okay, most of the system weight, let's not get, let's get real now, most of the system weight of the bike comes from yourself. 80% of, of, of the system weight is you, not the bike, okay? So you can't bring up this weight thing. Hmm. But that's my main feeling about it. So. In conclusion, if you ride in a very relaxed position and you're not dropping your chest down or anything, run a lightweight bike. If you like me, uh, who, performance. I have to agree with you uh, in the position. Finally. Right? But I don't agree that you said when people use lightweight bike, they're mostly on the upfront position. I, said, I told you it's a rider, right? So if our, let's say if you decide to ride upward, yeah. that's your problem. If you want, <laughs> right? It, <laughs> <laughs> then you cannot uh, have the most uh, aero benefits, right? Of yeah. going and maintaining fast uh, pace. So, yeah, I agree with you. Position is important, of course. Uh, more imp actually, can I be real now? More important, yes, than the frame. Ah, uh, okay. It's proven. It, we, I don't want to debate this. Okay, this is free so for all. So whoever yeah, wants to speak, yeah, just yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, Are you I mean, the most important component in a bike is the frame. So you have to, right? I think, I think not only no, the no, frame, no, no, no. I, I have to disagree. No, the that's the most important. No, no, no. The first plus, thing plus the wheels? No, no. I mean, when you buy a bike, right? What's the first thing you will consider? The frame, right? That's the most important. That's the first thing you will think of. When buying, yeah. but when it comes we'll to the performance, will be it'll be the wheels. Because that's the first thing that hits the wind. The wheels. Diff. I think it's a... Can I uh, just break it up here? I think it's a combination of both. Yeah, wheel depth, okay. You say that uh, you're running 65, 60, uh, that's right? That's another topic. You want to debate on that? I'm running <laughs> no, no. 45. That's basic aerodynamics. We don't need to dive into that today. Mm. See? Tonight. Where, it doesn't matter. I mean, that we're talking about frames. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, we have to agree. Position, yeah, 80% yeah, yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, correct. So if you change something on your position, that's 80%. It's a much bigger effect than the, the lesser 20% on the bike. Because if you change something on the bike, <coughs> much lesser effect. Can I, uh, let's, 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 let's uh, shake it up a bit. So let's say somebody, <laughs> <laughs> let's say somebody who is not flexible, let's say a 50 year old guy, right? Mm. I can't, honestly, I can't touch my toes. So that's why I go for this tuck. That's why my name's Tuck. Because I do a tuck arrow position. I don't slam my stem. So someone who can't, mm. who can't even bend their arms at 90 degrees for a long period <laughs> They, they need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, they, no, no, they no. need to. I, I think it's about the. It's not about flexibility, but it's about the, your core. How I think the core strength. Yeah. Well, how long, can hold yeah, that how long you can hold that position? Yeah. It's not about core. Okay, it's, it's basically is your stomach too big that you're gonna strike your gut with your knee? Because oh, if you bend that, down. Hey, hey, that's just insulting me. Eh? <laughs> Excuse I, me. Uh, I didn't. Uh, insulting us. Hey, sorry. Hey, I didn't bring you. I'm just. It's basic. If you bend down, it exposes your tummy. <laughs> Well, you can tuck it in, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I know my name's Tuck, but it, that's not what I meant. Hey. I still think it's because of the core. Because, okay, so when I went from my previous bike to my current bike, uh, I had a very big drop in the stem. I think Oompa can, like... Stop. Can you guys uh, touch your toes? I can. Standing up. I can. I can. I can. I can. I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> but let's be real, okay. Overall, aero... F I mean, sorry, lightweight frame... This was dance for us, by the way. I will do it later. <laughs> it will be better acceleration, right? Because less weight. 
but when we go up to 35, 40 kilometers, uh, I will pass you because it will hold the speed better. And lastly, from my research, an aero frame will only be a disadvantage compared to a lightweight frame at about 6%, 8% gradient. Uh, right. yeah. So 99 point whatever, mm. whatever it is, Singapore, flat. Flat is no, that, that, that's why I got a arrow frame in Singapore because I know I can I, I don't climb here and we are just doing TMCR every single day, so it, it only makes sense for me to buy an arrow frame. Exactly, but but, but, just, but how can you explain? <laughs> I come from Philippines, right? Mm. Those bikes, they even use steel bikes. They're mm. they're way faster than. If it's not the body, they are they're strong. I don't that, know that's why. That's yeah. why yeah. you. It doesn't matter which frame you have. <laughs> right. That's so what, that's my point. <laughs> Dude, 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 there's no talk about different legs that we can put a lance on my bike. Of course, he's going to beat everyone. Yeah. We're talking about the statistics. What's frame? The frame, right? The frame yeah. itself. So um. as I said, 80% of the drag comes from the rider. Okay. The frame, okay, don't get it twisted. You're not going to buy an aero frame and go 100 miles per hour. It's about tw 10 to 20 watts. I love talking about watts, and that's, that's basically what it is. Okay. Uh, as I said, the weight is not a big issue here because the, most of that system weight is you, not the bike. Let's mm -hmm. give uh, Sean a chance. I yeah, think he has sure, sure. Uh, he's been sorry, he's our guest, so he's a newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sean, it's quite Sean. entertaining to watch you guys. No, 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 no go, go, ahead, go ahead. Okay, no, actually, I've done a bit of research on this. Oh, okay. Okay, no oh, book. He got, got the book. No book. Notebook. Time. But I just, Bible. I just want the Bible. I just want to say everybody is extremely prepared. Oh. Uh, except Caleb. Uh, Caleb will use his. Caleb uh, is YOLO. YOLO, uh, common YOLO. sense guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, so for, for Cannondale, right, they, they actually did a study between. Because they had a white paper out for their System 6 Aero bike. And they did a comparison between the System 6 and the Super 6 Evo, which I assume was the previous generation with the, with the round tube, so the classic Super 6 Evo, right? So the Super 6 Evo was 1 kg lighter than the System 6. Okay, this is for me arguing that you buy you should always buy an aero frame if you're living in Singapore. Okay. So they did a te the test and the time saved, which is seconds per kilometer versus the gradient. Yeah. And they said that the break even point is where you lose the the advantages of an aero frame versus a lightweight bike and the lightweight bike takes over, right? Yeah. Is an average of six percent. Exactly what I said. Gradient, and in Singapore. Gradient. Huh? Yeah, it's six percent six percent gradient. And in yep, Singapore, yep. right? Like for example, Mount Faber. Yes, it's the maximum gradient is 13.9, but the average gradient is 6.2%. Yeah, I win. I win. <laughs> but can I say something? I, I, I recently looked up a study. Now, let's think about it. I ran a bike one kg heavier than Caleb's, and we both went up a climb. Okay? He would beat me by about a minute. Okay? But if I put five more watts of power into my aero frame, I beat Caleb. So weight is not such a big factor as important as you think it is mm. i believe mm. it's position mm. and watts and mm. then the arrow as i said the arrow frame is a maximum of 10 to 20 watts mm. okay this is much right. better than osvw which is one <laughs> to two so we're talking 10 times the advantage here so and when you're on flats right there i don't think there's even any argument yeah, right, yeah, and again yeah. again i, I mean, go back to my other point so sorry, sorry caleb but yeah. i just say if you're the type of rider who's just yeah, really yeah, relaxed yeah. position, run yeah. a light bicycle. But if you're like me, who's tucked in like the fastest Indian, get an aero frame because it's just gonna help you. You're not Indian. <laughs> I know, but it's a movie. <laughs> Look it up. It's a, it's a New Zealand movie. Oh, okay, a okay, New Zealand okay, movie. Okay, okay. It's a New Zealand movie. Let's, uh, okay, look, let's let's give him a chance. Yeah, anything to, to fight against them? Nothing. <laughs> Finally, I Silence. win one. <laughs> he, he took out his notebook <laughs> with <laughs> Cannondale test. What can I say? Okay, so let's let's let's. Uh, right, okay, got. so they are coming out with studies. Research. Research. Oh, yeah, research yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's take from you who has no. We, we, let's say we we didn't do research. Mm. Uh, what, what what's your rebuttal to all those? If there's any. <laughs> I have no rebuttal, but yeah, I, I I told you right. I really like an arrow frame, uh, because I like I like running you know flats before, uh, but now I own my bike. I uh, started to think otherwise. Uh, for me, like even if we're in Singapore, you have to do variations on your rides. Not only like all flats, because in order to become a you know versat versatile rider, stronger rider, you have to mix it up. Yeah, but yeah, ninety percent of the ride is flat, right? So obviously you'd win. Uh, you'd win with the aero frame. Yeah, but you can still still what? I mean, aero <laughs> frame. I like Sean, by the way. He's my he's my boy. It's how I speak you guys up. Yeah, so I, know, you guys are I, mean, like I mean, aero frame. I think for me, I like the looks better than a lightweight bike. To be honest. Do you yeah. think your uh, V three RS, which is a hybrid, mm. uh, do you think it is slower than a complete aero frame? On flats, I mean, of course. Let's uh, say compared to my bench. Then who is riding it? Lance Armstrong. Who is riding it? That depends. 
Yeah, you like. It's not. Okay, I, I, let's ah. take the right out of it. Let's just think, I think about. I think if I use your revenge, right? I think I I would be able to save more watts maintaining on the flats, on the flats yeah. ma maintaining forty five and above. Yeah. I would need. I wouldn't need to use like three hundred watts. I think about two hundred plus only. But here, here's the yeah. thing. I think uh, an arrow frame. I will definitely lose out, especially on climbs. But that's again. I, I don't go to climbs. Yeah. So, yeah, but that's yeah. when a hybrid will will be advantageous, right? Yeah, so it's yeah, a, it's yeah. a bit of a balance. What do you yeah. kind of write? But on purpose. Right? This is the thing. So my main thing is if you're not holding an arrow position, uh, you've seen me. Then you're negating most of the benefit from an arrow frame. No, no. Yeah, we we are we are. We are with that. We are with you with the position. Okay. Now I'm just saying, if you don't do an arrow position, then there's no point having. I an think arrow both. Frame. You need to meditate for a while. <laughs> I mean, your position. Yes, we agree. Sixty-nine position, everything. Okay. But we're talking about bikes. Yeah, what about it? I think I just argued pretty well. No, you argued position only. We are talking about framing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. If I'm saying if you don't hold an arrow position, there's no point. The benefits of an arrow no, frame are diminished. No, deviating from the subject. We're talking about How? frame. Don't talk about position. We know already you have okay. to be arrow hoods, everything. Well, right? I, told you, 10, degrees. I told you the max benefit of arrow frame is 10 to 20 watts. But you're going to, as I said, 80% is from the rider. So if you're not holding a good position, 80% of that benefit is gone. But I think, um, I, you, I know, you have I to know. agree. <laughs> I told you, I told you, I mean, I mean, he's repeating like three the, times. The like, points are so clear. Like broken record, like, chicken, 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 oh my God. Rewind, rewind. Hey, wait, wait. I think uh, for, you said that for arrow frames, it will be harder to climb, right? Uh, no, I did say. No, not you, not you. I said, I said, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. Then, then, uh, and, and also the oh, no. weight penalty of an arrow frame. Uh, it's much heavier, of course. Yes, yes, of course, because more materials, yeah, yeah, yeah. chunkier. Yeah. 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 So I already just proved that already with the one kg example up the hill, right? I just need yeah, to yeah. Sorry, it's too much, too much maths. Yeah. I need to brain right but, now. But but I think in Singapore, yeah, I think it's more appropriate to own an arrow bike. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, wow, amazing. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Do you have to listen to my points, so yeah. So yeah, I think I've made my points very clear, and we it's know, so obvious that the yes, arrow frame yes. is the way to go. In Singapore. What kind of position? In yeah. Singapore. But Doggy. in general, oh actually, <laughs> unless... I think if you are living in another country which is very mountainous... Okay, come on, Dan. 80% rider, 20% bike, okay? The, 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 the frame's only 10, 10, 20 watts. Okay? No, I don't think so. I think if you are living somewhere else which has a lot of mountains and you climb mountains oh, every day, you won't get a track with You know what? I didn't bring up the most important fact, okay? If you're not riding, the aero benefit increases as you go faster of the aero yeah. frame. So if you're going 30 kilometers an hour, dude, the benefit is halved. Where I'm mostly going about 40, 45, you know, sometimes reaching up to 50. So the arrow benefit is doubled. So that's when it, that's when the arrow frame, I think, will be more important. I think arrow will matter if you go more than 40. Yeah. If less than 40, it wouldn't matter. Exactly, mm. exactly. Mm. I, well, we agree on something. It's really nice. Oh, my God. Do you, do you think, <laughs> okay, let, let's pick it a little bit. Do you think the wheel set plays a major role to supplement the arrow frame? Absolutely, okay. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Ba dude, yeah, it's yeah, basic yeah, yeah, aerodynamics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a cross section of the yeah, wheel, the yeah. longer it is, the more aero. Why did both of you just get an aero frame? Oh my god, we, That's a good we don't have money. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, money <laughs> you need to buy a V3 RS. More in, material. In, in you buy yeah, I buy that only. After that. Why did you buy an aero frame in the first place? Uh, because the. Price? No, the size doesn't have my so size. So if you had ah. the size, you would have gotten yeah, an aero frame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you? Why did you go for SL7? Yeah, why did you cheap? Oh, you got it at a cheap price. I got it at a cheap price. Did you yeah. fall for the one bike to rule the mill? Is it original frame or OEM? Original. Okay, 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 okay. But Sean, did you fall for the oh one bike to rule the mill? That is total BS. I, Caleb, I love you by the way. Because <laughs> I love. Because I watched this Why interview. Why you switch sides? This is He's your brother now. I'm your brother. He's my. <laughs> I've disassociated myself. But I like Caleb because he said in his interview that he wanted to get a Madon. Oh Look, my god. And I have a Madon. What's your question, Dave? I can't remember, man. <laughs> <laughs> but sure. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me ask the question. Yeah, go in. Why, why did you get the SL7 again? Because it was cheap. Yeah, I got it a good deal. Yeah, it's second hand. I'm a second hand, I got it a good deal. Yeah. I don't recommend second hand, by the way, because you don't know the integrity of the carbon, right? I think hey, that's on another that. topic. Oh, that's a whole topic. new episode. So, so, uh, I'll fight you on that. Would, would, you, get a, would oh. you get an aero frame? Or would you um, still stick to a hybrid? Okay, so actually, before that, uh, I had an aero bike. I had an aero before the Canyon. Wow, even the oh. name has aero. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. I had that before, and then, and then I sold it away after I got it, I got it, the seat post. Set, but the, what the attracted you? Was it the marketing? One bike to rule them all? This sort no, of no, no. So at first, I got the aero, right? Before, uh, like when I got rid of the aero, I sold it away. I went for the Super 6 because I felt the aero was a little bit too. 
uncomfortable, I guess. Probably because too back aggressive. then I was, it, it was probably too aggressive for me because back then I just started cycling not too long, maybe a couple of months. So I think back then the, 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 the aero position was a bit too much for me, especially with back then I was still, still, still a little bit you know, bigger in size. Uh. Mm. So I thought it was a bit too much, so I decided to maybe get something a little bit more comfortable because I can. You know, maybe the setup of the, the aero was wrong. It's not the frame. Yeah, maybe then. it was wrong. You know, Oh, sorry. They, they yeah. do say the SL7 is a very comfortable bike. And one last point is that if you just spend most of your time drafting, right, 30 to 40% less yeah. effort, then you don't even need an aero frame. <laughs> yeah. You're not doing any work. You're doing nothing. You're just, <laughs> yeah. you're just, having, just yeah. cruising along. But, but the, the thing you mentioned about wheels, right? Yeah. The, deep, the deep section and the... Oh, that can be a whole... I think we can do a whole yeah. episode yeah, on yeah, deep section. But dirt. I really felt a difference. Really. Yeah, because I don't agree, you know, the last episodes, you said that going from 60 to 40, 45, you didn't feel any different. I have to, dis that'll be for another episode. I mean, the only diff, okay, now never mind, never <laughs> mind. I, I'm doing a whole episode You're steering on, up a new one. Yeah, huh? deep, I think a lot of our viewers would love to hear about deep yeah, versus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we will do that another yeah. time. Let's, let's just continue the topic for today right. in this video. So, uh, Sean, anything else to top up on uh, that? Mm, no, so after that, I went to a, to a comfortable bike and then we did the Super 6 and I got the opportunity to change to the SL7. Um, well, I changed from the Super 6 to the SL7. And I mean, just to add on to your point of, of 80% rider, right? Yeah. My position got a lot more aggressive because I think you saw my Super 6 before, I had the full spacer stack. Ah. It was... It was embarrassing. You <laughs> it have was to full agree. spacer stack, right? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, when I went for the bike fit, the bike fit told me I could actually slam it. But I didn't have the guts to slam it. But I went for the SL7. I caught the body it used, it was already slammed. So, but when I got onto it, I, I felt super comfortable. That was maybe, this is maybe after like close to a year of cycling. So. I got, I got a lot more flexible, I guess. Hey, who's your bike fitter? My bike fitter told me I cannot slam it. Yeah. No, yeah. don't mention news on this channel. Yeah, my bike fitter didn't tell me anything, but... Okay, let's, yeah. last 10 minutes, I think we yeah. are pretty much done yeah. with frames. Let's talk about done. bike fitting. Yeah, let's so just start the last 10 minutes of bike yeah, So when, when I got to that more aggressive position, I think my reach increased by like 24 millimeters. So I was a lot more bent forward, right? And I felt that I could go, I, I was going a lot faster actually. Yeah, yeah. but let's be real, most of that came from your position rather than right. the frame, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have to agree, okay. I have to agree. <laughs> position! <laughs> it's like beating, a, it's like beating yeah. a dead horse, right? <laughs> wait, wait, you, you want to ask him something about bike fitting? You want to ask him something about bike fitting? No, 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 we have to. No, yeah, just say, uh, we, we, we can, no, no, I, just don't mention names. No names, uh, no company. You okay to talk about it? We have 10 minutes, let's just finish it with that. No, no, but I'm asking about the name. Yeah, oh, so okay, okay. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, last 10 minutes, let's just talk about bike fitting quickly. Uh, oh, cool. Did all of you get bike fitted? Yeah. JD, Once, you wanna, yeah. I think you're very excited. Yeah, yeah my bike fit, it got um, negated because I changed my, my whole suit, my tyres, my saddle, you know, everything. But how does the suit affect the bike fitting? Well, it's the padding. Yeah. It's the padding. How much, how much padding? Do, 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 do. I have such a so my position is very aero. Just one millimeter can <laughs> totally blow out the whole baloney, <laughs> you know. But I went to a bike fitter, and the biggest thing I took away is that if you, is there some advice for our viewers? You should always pull. I think you should pull the cleats back because that will stabilize the foot on the downstroke. Well, a lot of people are tiptoeing like ballerinas, and you're losing so much power. So that was number one. Pull the cleats back. Number two. The worst thing you can do on a bike fit, I mean, on your bike in general, is to have the saddle a bit too high and a bit too forward. Your, your whole efficiency goes out the window, okay? It, just like the tire pressure, it's, a little bit, it's a better to have it a little bit too low than a little bit too high. Um, but, so practically, he lowered my seat a little bit, brought it back a bit, and my back was perfect, everything, and I've been riding ever since. And um, once you go for a bike fit, I think you will learn what, what, what is the correct approach and you won't have to go back again. Would you recommend a bike fit? Oh, yeah. I did the first 4,000 mm. kilometers on my Madonna in a bad position. I'm under losing mm. in again. And then, <laughs> and then, you know, I wish I'd done it day one. When I picked Me up the Madonna, I should have yeah. gone straight from trick technology mm. straight to performance bike fit. Mm. So yeah. buy the bike first or bike fit first? No, I think the ultimate thing is actually, because I had a trouble with decathlon where I brought one size too big. You know, I didn't know any different. I honestly mm. think you should get a bike fit without the bike first. There's a prefit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. prefit. Because pre yeah. you'll see all the, because every bike company is different when it comes to all the stack and height and everything. Mm. Okay. Um, even though it says 54, it might not actually be your size. Right. Mm. You know? I think I learned the hard way because I never go for a bike fit. So I, had, I tracked multiple bikes, different setups and stuff like that. Old school. Old school. What can yeah, I say, yeah, no, 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 I agree. It's old school. But plumb, plumb bob. He probably puts a plumb bob <laughs> over his knee. <laughs> <laughs> like a, yeah, yeah, actually I did. I, wow, I, no, I, I, I watch videos and like, hey, how do you adjust your yeah, seat? Yeah, yeah. They put a, like a string down there. He doesn't even know what a laser is. <laughs> okay, we're all using these 3D I'll, sensors. I, I, I'm, I'm, turning, I'm turning 80 this year, by the way. I, he, he'll be dead soon, don't worry. <laughs> 
<laughs> you guys will be taking over the channel soon. <laughs> yeah. That's why I have to wear the mask to cover up my wrinkles. You, you would never know he existed. <laughs> it would be like, it would just be an empty mask. We'll just put the mask on the table eventually. You just put my coffin right in front here and instead of the table, oh my coffin we'll here. We'll carry you out. We'll carry you out to TMC. <laughs> out. Drop you off at the airport. Okay, let's move on. Caleb, Caleb back fit. Uh, how, how was it for you? Uh, yeah, I've had two different uh, bike fitters here in Singapore. The first one was just a, because I, I'm not willing to spend that much uh, initially. So I did, I did go to a cheap, cheap one. Uh, then he adjusted my cleats, everything, but he adjusted to the neutral position. Then he told me, just get used to the position first, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I mean, it's okay. Uh, but then I still get getting like um, saddle sores every now and then and uh, pressure points yep. on my hand. So then I decided... Sorry, uh, can I stop you there? Uh, so this was after the bike fit that you realized there was issues? The first bike fit? After, after, yeah. yeah, yeah. Still getting... So a bad bike fit pretty much. Yeah, then, yeah. Uh, then I couldn't push power properly. Uh, it's something... You can feel it. You by the way, are, are they warranty? And for don't bike? blame your saddle, by the way. Uh, no, Most no, because because my first uh, my first bike fit wasn't really like a cheap one, so no warranty. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so it's like I'm just gonna do it like a simple one. Yeah, simple you. one. Then you get okay. used to it for a month or two. Then we'll see. Did you complain to him like, hey, my bike fit doesn't work? No, I went to. You went for another one. And let's be one. real. Most people make the mistake, think, oh, my saddle's wrong. You know, they try all these different saddles. It, yeah, yeah. Most yeah, of the time, it's actually yeah. your position that's just totally off. The yes, saddle's yes, fine. Yes, yes. I have to agree. I think uh, the pressure point mm. of the seat bones on the saddle mm, that actually makes mm, the biggest mm, difference, and not the actual saddle itself. But 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 yeah. initially, if you before you buy a saddle or before you replace your current saddle, you have to measure your seat bone first. Yeah. Then you have to add around 20 to 25. Yeah, 20, uh, from my research, yeah. 2 centimeter. Yeah, 2 wider. centimeter or more. Uh, depends. Uh. Then you roughly get uh, the ballpark on what size your, your saddle should be. So, so after the buffers mm. bike fit, sorry, um, uh, you went uh, for the second one. The second one was for performance bike fitter, Hi Ben. <laughs> Same as me. So I. Yeah, yeah, we ride. both by, fitted yeah. by Ben. Really so, good. Uh, yeah, after my first bike fit with him, right, I, went, I cycle home. I was able to maintain around 233 watts. What was the issue home. with the first bike fit? It's just in neutral. It wasn't micro-adjusted, tailored to me, to my riding style. It was just all neutral. Even the cleat position, he didn't adjust much on the drop bar. It's just all neutral. So how long did the first bike fit take? Like, what, 30 minutes? 15 minutes, actually. Oh, okay. I, yeah, so I, you actually, should I pay, I burned my money back then. Yeah, so you, pro you probably worth should it, run worth from it. your bike fit if one, he doesn't do like a pre-examination. No interview, no, no like nothing. measurement. If he just puts you on there and looks yeah. at the uh, uh, what your angles are. I should do it then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have no clue what that's about. I think he would do it like, oh, just come in, slam your stand. Yeah, slam that's your it. stand. <laughs> slam your yeah, yeah. stand. <laughs> yeah, actually, you'd probably say, oh, uh, I think, is, I think. Get used to it for a month. Yeah, <laughs> slam your stand, get used to it. Don't complain, just ride. I think say the old 80% bike. rider, 20% bike. Sorry, sorry guys, a bit, a bit lower, it's a picky. Ah, sorry, yeah. sorry, and, sorry. And the last adjustment that we do, like, oh, I think we can do a little bit more PSI. <laughs> it is 120 PSI. So this is my recommendation who anyone wants to come back with me, slam the stem, 120 PSI, clinches, arrow frame. Arrow frame. 160, 160 PSI. PSI. Don't go to me if you have a lightweight bike, <laughs> only arrow frame. I'll give you one free tubeless tire, uh, one free clincher tire. <laughs> I'll give you one full blown out tire that just blew off my Okay, so, so, so uh, quickly wrap up, so I think, um, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bike first or bike fit first? Uh, if you haven't, if you don't own any road bike, uh, and then you want to get into road cycling, you do a pre-fit first. What's a pre-fit? Uh, it's like a, it's like a machine they have that you tell them what brand and model you want the bike. Then they have a database there. So this is at a bike fitting shop. Yes, yes, okay. yes. They have, uh, I think, for performance bike fitter, it's Retool, Retool Fit. So it's called a pre bike. Yeah, fit. they'll yeah, give you some numbers, fit. and you know every bike has different stack height, yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. and they'll tell you what sort of bike sort of suits you, okay. your position. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So pre bike fit, buy the bike, and then go for another bike fit. Is that yeah? Then you, yes, then you yes, don't yes, have yes. to deal with the mess of trying to change your current bike to yes, fit you. Yes, it, because sometimes you buy yeah. the wrong size, then it. Yeah, if it's yeah, too you big, to, you're you gonna have to have sell to it, then you yeah. buy a new one, yeah. Let's yeah. say from Sean then. Okay, I went for the bike fit after I bought the bike because I couldn't wait for the pre-bike So it's not a pre-bike fit, it's just yeah, like it's a complete bike. So I went to buy, I thought I was quite lucky because I managed to, like this for, for my Super 6, mm. I managed to show all the correct parts. Mm. So I went there, I did all the measurements and everything, then I went mm. on the bike, you know, he adjusted the, the cleats, mm. the cleats adjustment, the saddle, I think, wait, I, I think, what uh, JD said was right about the saddle height. Cause I went in my bike. He took a look at my bike. He took a look. He said, "Please hop on." I hopped on. He said, "Okay, get out." Like immediately, get out. Too high. This too high. 
and, and he just knocked it down like one centimeter, mm. and then asked me to get back on again. It felt so much better. When you were riding yeah. that bike with the wrong seat, I thought it was fine. I thought it was, it was fine. fine. Yeah, I thought it was fine. Until you went for the bike fit, the guy right. told I you. Think, it was I think cool. the beauty of a bike fit is that you you find out things about like you, you don't know what's wrong with it mm. until he fixes it for yeah, you. You're yeah. like, yeah. God damn, yeah. why did I spend this money earlier? So you right felt then? much better yeah. then? Yeah, I felt so much better. Or do you better. feel that, oh my god, it's, it's so low now because I've been riding such I a high... I mean, when you first got on, you're like, oh, okay, this is a bit low. But when you start pedaling and you feel the mm. pedal stroke and everything, uh, you, you, do, you do feel that it's a bit better right. when, when it's a bit lower. So, yeah. uh, given back, uh, like, like I like to say this, uh, given the time to go back in time, <laughs> would you yeah, have but... gotten a pre-bike fit? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a lot of my friends were like, you should get a pre-bike fit before you bought a bike. By that point of time, uh, I was out of bike for quite a while because the aero disappeared for a few times to, to get the... The, 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 the seat post fixed and I wanted to get a bike right so I just didn't wait How so much is a pre-bike fit by the way? I have no idea but I paid 390 I, 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 I paid 390 for my bike fit no I, I thought you did a pre-bike fit I didn't Oh you didn't do it? No no know. I don't think any of us have and yeah, by the way I think we just come up with a new topic would be about saddles you know short ah, versus yeah, the next long because yeah. that's, that's, that's quite important when it comes to your bike fitting is your saddle because yeah. that's yeah. the main thing you are interacting with when you're cycling yeah. and um that's another debate eh? <laughs> Okay, uh, last, last to wrap up, anyone wants to chip in anything? Uh, if not, I'll, I'll stop I it. think, yeah, I've made my points clear. And I yeah. think everyone you guys can anything? Agree. Nothing? Okay, guys. And shake. Oh, <laughs> man, my hand's a bit sweaty. A bit sweaty. There we go, it's a family hug. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, that is the end. If you guys have any suggestions of what we would like to talk about, uh, please do suggest uh, them to me or mention it in the comments. Uh, Sean will be here for one more last episode. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.